Good morning. Let's just hurry and situate ourselves here. Oh, hop. wait, see who we have hop on. All right, as you hop on, say hi. Wanna see who we have here? Hope you guys are staying warm on this blistery cold day. Hey Jen, hey Lisa, hey Hannah. Hey Caitlin. All right, so I'm not gonna be, um, I'm not gonna take super long. I just wanted to hop on, hey Julie, and um, just sort of share with you guys uh, a few things during this um, high vibe super series that I'm gonna be running. Um, so I'm actually gonna be running this throughout the entire week. I'll be hopping on at different times throughout the day and chatting about various topics. And so today's topic is one that's a favorite of mine. And we're going to be chatting about natural self-care and how to take care of yourself um, naturally and using uh, clean products, fragrance-free products. Um, it's a topic that is I'm super passionate about. And for those of you who know me, know that I share a lot about um, taking care of yourself and, and really um, putting yourself first. So... I kind of just wanted to sort of go off of that and um, answer any questions that pop up, um, but just share with you guys a few of my topics on how to take really, really good care of yourself um, this time of year. And I'm a firm believer in uh, you cannot pour from an empty cup. So if you are um, stretching yourself super thin and you're uh, running yourself ragged, um, this is totally for you, okay? Um, so obviously we know in terms of taking care of ourselves and uh, really feeding our bodies, uh, really start with exercise, you start with eating well, you start with uh, making sure you're sleeping well. Um, so our exercise and, and eating well is pretty self-explanatory. Most people know um, what you should and shouldn't be eating and, and that exercise daily helps us, uh, helps our body to recoup better. Um, but the one thing I really wanted to talk about and something that is really big for me, it's really key, is uh, resting and reducing your stress. So I'd love to see by a sign of um, of hearts or uh, mad faces, how many of you guys deal with uh, sleep issues? It's a real common one that a lot of people struggle with. So the first thing I wanted to hop on it and share with you guys is how I, how we in our family rest and reduce stress. Um, a few of the, the biggest things that we use um, as supports. And obviously with essential oils, we have some really amazing things. Okay, I just got lots of lots of stuff popping up about sleep. Um, so I just want to share with you two products that I swear by to help me uh, ensure that I'm getting enough sleep, that I'm not waking up in the morning groggy, um, I don't have kids yet, so my sleep isn't really interrupted by that, but I do have a puppy who um, loves to wake up at six o'clock in the morning, and um, so what I need to do is I need to ensure that the sleep that I'm getting, I might not be sleeping for a super long time, but I do want to ensure that I'm getting a good, heavy night's rest, right? How many of you guys can agree with me there? Um, so it's not length of time, it's quality of sleep. So I do two things, actually three things, um, at bedtime to ensure that I'm getting this amazing rest. Uh, the first one is I use um, the Serenity Restful Capsules. So for those of you who don't know me, I should really introduce myself. That was horrible. Um, but my name is Brittany McLean. I am a doTERRA Platinum Leader, and I... I'm super passionate about teaching women, especially, how to remove toxins from their life and how to empower them to step fully into their power as uh, women that they want to be. Um, so we are so capable of so many different things as women. 
and it's my job uh, and real duty to show you how that how you can um, do that. So back to Serenity. So Serenity capsules are my absolute favorite. Um, they are, I call them like my little mini sleeping pills, um, but they're completely chemical free, full, free of synthetics, nothing nasty in them. Um, so you have a, a couple of different blends in this concoction. And before bedtime, about 30 minutes before bed, I'll pop two capsules. So these Serenity capsules really ensure that I'm getting a restful sleep. They have lavender in them, so they do help you to um, get that into your system quick. I love these. So these capsules are, anytime I need that, that good night rest, I grab my Serenity. Um, another thing that we do is I have this fantastic roller bottle blend. It's called Peace. And it comes in a roller. So what I love about Peace is this is a blend of, um, you've got a lot of stuff in here, but you've got uh, ylang ylang, frankincense, marjoram, spearmint, um, and vetiver. And vetiver for me is, it knocks me right out. So at bedtime what we do is we take our Peace and we'll roll it on the soles of our feet to ensure we're getting a really restful night's sleep. Um, I love this one. This is one that I uh, will not go, like I, I have to have with me at all times. It's also one of the oils that I'll apply to my chest if I'm feeling a little bit anxious or overwhelmed. Um, Peace is fantastic, so super, super good. And then the third thing that I'll do at bedtime is diffuse a, a, a nighttime blend. So we love diffusing um, the Serenity Essential Oil. You can diffuse lavender. And these for me are just a few steps that I take at nighttime and sometimes I do all of them, sometimes I do one, sometimes we forget, and then I realize I'm having a really cruddy sleep. Um, but we do these things at night to ensure that we are getting a restful sleep so that we can be on our A game during the day. So that's a huge thing for me. So that's sleep time. I I'd love to hear from you guys if any of you have amazing sleep recipes or sleep blends that work for you. Another thing that I've really, really noticed now that I've started working out regularly is my sleep is amazing on the days that I exercise. So if I work out after, um, just before dinner, usually by bedtime, I'm like out like a light. I'm ready to go. Um, so that's a big thing for me too, is that bedtime um, exercising makes bedtime a lot easier. All right, I'll let you guys pop on and share if you guys have any recipes. I love hearing um, new stuff. Yeah, Melissa, vetiver knocks me right out. Awesome, you guys can peek into the chat box. There's some um, some wicked ladies sharing some, some recipes they love as well. Um, another huge thing that I talk about a lot, and I'm sure many of you have heard me talk about this um, regu regularly online, but the need for us to reduce our toxic load. So in our bodies, our bodies are not meant to be filled and covered with all of these chemicals and synthetics that are in self-care products. So I actually, I read an article the other day, um, a girlfriend of mine had posted about deodorant causing uh, a chemical reaction on the skin. Um, and so our body, that stuff's not meant to go on our bodies. That stuff is, really should not exist in my opinion. Um, so one thing that we've done in our household is completely reduce the toxic load um, in the products that we're using on our skin. So I use a variety of products. I use a lot of doTERRA products. I make a lot of my own products. And then I do search really, really far and wide to find products that are completely natural that I can just buy. Um, so our self-care products are really need to be, you really need to reduce the toxins in those products. Um, unfortunately, fragrance and parabens are the leading cause of cancers and hormonal disruptions. And so for me, knowing that and knowing the, the um, amount of infertility or the amount of cancer, uh, the C word's popping up everywhere now. Everybody is, has, it has been affected by it in some way. Um, so for me, knowing that I can be limiting the toxins in my life that um, contribute to that kind of stuff makes me feel a lot better. Um, my lungs are clear and all that kind of stuff, okay? So I have um, about, I'd say five really, really big tricks, um, tricks of the trade, things that I am obsessed with that have helped me 
clear up my skin, that have helped me clear up my medicine cabinet and self-care cabinet so that I can limit the amount of products that I'm using in general. So one thing that I do, how many of you guys have heard of oil cleansing? Give me some hearts if you've heard of or do oil cleansing. You know, Facebook's a little bit delayed. So oil cleansing is um, taking oil and putting oil on your skin. I'm not talking essential oil. I'm talking um, a carrier oil. So what I do, um, usually I say about twice a week, three times a week. I don't oil cleanse all the time. My skin gets too, um, too dry, or sorry, too oily. Total opposite. Um, but what you do is I mix a blend of jojoba oil. So jojoba oil is awesome for your skin because what I love about jojoba is that it's actually the same, um, same consistency as the sebum in your skin. So it won't clog your pores, it won't get caught in your skin. Um, so jojoba is awesome. I dilute a lot of my oils in jojoba oil. And then I mix a little bit of coconut oil for its cleansing properties, for its um, antibacterial properties uh, with that. And then I'll add a drop or two of an essential oil. So it depends on what you're feeling. Some days I love geranium. Some days it's frankincense um, because it's really great for scarring. Some days it's uh, cypress. Some days it's spikenard. So the cool part about oil cleansing is you can switch up what oils you put in it or you can leave it completely plain. And then you massage it into your skin, take all your makeup off, and then you take a really hot cloth and you wipe your skin down. So I love oil cleansing um, because it helps to pull all the junk out of your skin. So for those of you who do it, I'd love to have you share your experience with us um, because a lot of people never have never tried it. Um, there's a common misconception that oils clog your pores, whereas what actually happens in reality is oils help to pull out the other oils in your skin. So it's the only real way to pull out that junk in your pores. So I love it. Um, so oil cleansing is something that I do about once or twice a week. Um, sometimes I'll leave it on for a little bit like a mask and helps to pull out any blackheads or any, um, any nasties in your skin. And it was so gross. <laughs> um, so that's oil cleansing. Super good um, routine to have in your life. Another thing that I really like doing is um, I apply usually once a week. I'll sit in a bathtub and I'll do a face mask. Um, so for a really long time, I made my own face masks. I would do uh, green clay with apple cider vinegar and a couple drops of oil. Um, so when doTERRA launched this gorgeous detoxifying mud mask, I was all over it because a lot of times when I'd mix up my own, my own face mask, I'd have a lot left over. I'd be wasting a lot. It was a lot more. There was quite a few steps included. So being able to take this tube of, of this mud mask and apply it on my face, hop in a bath and have that routine for myself is amazing. So this detoxifying mud mask is my second pick. So good. How many of you guys use this? Amazing. Awesome. So my mud mask is an absolute staple in my life. Um, another thing that I do regularly and one that a lot of people are not even familiar with or have heard of is a technique called dry skin brushing. How many of you guys dry skin brush? Apparently I have to clean mine out. It's full of hair some, somehow. All right. So what I do, and this is where my two, um, two special oils come in today. Um, but what I do is I'll take my dry skin brush. And dry skin brushing helps to in, um, increase the lymph, the lymph flow in your body. It helps to reduce cellulite. It helps to um, just sort of speed the, speed the process up of um, elimination in your system. It's a huge, it was a huge savior actually for me with di my digestive issues. So a cool way that you can um, help with digestion is to actually... Um, use the dry skin brush in a circular motion, a clockwise motion on your belly. So I will do this oftentimes if I'm experiencing um, gas pains or my stomach's not working like it should. Um, I like it for that too. But I love dry skin brushing and I do it every single day before I hop in the shower. 
and you simply will take the brush and you will do light strokes starting from your feet up to your head in the um, in the way of your heart so you're actually brushing towards your heart um, but a really really cool tip that I have is I actually will apply two drops of essential oil to my brush um, and it literally just so happened that the two oils that I always apply are two oils that are actually on buy one get one free today. Um, so doTERRA has a really incredible uh, BOGO special going on and the two oils that I use are cypress and lemongrass. So both of these oils are fantastic for improving circulation in your body. Um, I love the smell of them. It's fresh. It's uh, invigorating. It wakes me up. It gives me a little tingle. Um, I love the feeling of these two together. So what I'll do is before I dry skin brush, I'll do a drop of each on my brush. And then I'll brush from my toes up to my head. And I'll hop in a hot shower. And that increases the flow of everything in your system. And I can tell you now that I've noticed a massive, massive, massive difference in um, the cellulite actually on my body. Um, that's something that I've had since I was young and something that I, I have a hard time getting rid of. So I've noticed a huge increase in circulation since I've been doing these two. So for those of you who are with doTERRA, you know about the special. For those of you who are not enrolled, um, send me a message or send a message to those who sent you because this BOGO is amazing today. Uh, so if you buy one Cypress, you get a lemongrass for free. So wicked, wicked addition to your self-care collection. Um, two more products that I use in terms of self-care um, and for my skin are um, the Virage skincare line that doTERRA has and a product called Immortel, also a doTERRA essential oil. It's rose and frankincense and sandalwood. It's so good. Um, but for those of you who don't know me or don't know my story, um, I actually dealt with cystic acne for the majority of my life. And when I found doTERRA, I was using a skincare line that was bleaching my skin. Um, I'd have patches of white spots and my skin was literally peeling off of my face. I, it was so full of chemicals. It was awful. And the acne was still there. So I'm not sure if many of you have heard that, that a lot of skincare products, a lot of hair care products, especially ones that help with dandruff, um, will create dandruff so that you continue to buy their product. And so the product that I was using on my skin had helped a lot of people, but was not benefiting my skin in any way. So when I started with doTERRA, I was super scared to try their skincare line to the point where it actually took me about three or four months to try it. Uh, and what I came to realize once I started using it is that my skin was reacting and, and breaking out as a defense mechanism against the chemicals and toxins that I was slathering on top of it. So for those of you who deal with skin irritations, acne, eczema, psoriasis, a lot of the time that's your body actually fighting the chemicals that you're putting on your body. So just a little food for thought food for thought there, um, because I know that was a reaction in my system. My system was fighting off the chemicals that I was putting on my skin, the bleach basically that I was layering on my face every day. So within a day, two days, three days of using the Virage skincare system, my acne completely cleared. And I, when I'm without this, my skin is a disaster. Um, I break out the second I run out of it because my body is so used to being um, layered with things like juniper berry and sea buckthorn berry and geranium and juniper. Um, it's, be, it's used to having these amazing um, oils on it that replenish what my skin needs. So this is awesome. Um, and this Immortel is a very expensive blend of essential oils that I will apply, um, I get dark circles quite a bit and I have a bit of sun damage from years of working um, on a boat and working on a dock. So for me, just applying a little bit underneath my eyes makes all the difference. It's so good. Yeah, Lisa, Virage does not cause breakouts for me. Um, I have a pretty um, good regimen working with my like oil cleansing and my Virage system and my mask. I have a, a regimen that I follow 
that when I'm off of that or when I'm traveling, sometimes my skin will break out just because it's not used to it. Um, but a huge thing with people who do deal, deal with breakouts is a lot of the time it's what you're putting on your skin and what you're eating is another really big one. But I really, if I can give you any advice, um, and this is something that I teach my team um, all the time, is if you can, I want you guys to, in your calendar, open up your agenda, open your planner, your, your Google calendar, whatever you use, and I want you from now until after Christmas to book yourself one night a week or one day a week, whatever you have time for, for you. So I have a bath twice a week. I get my workout in every day and that's scheduled. I refuse to not do it. Um, I got my bath in, I have a massage weekly, I go to the osteopath and chiropractor every couple weeks. So my big thing with you guys is to really schedule um, your self-care in your calendar because it's an appointment with you, for you, so that you can then serve the people that you're meant to serve in the best way possible. Because if you're not taking care of yourself, I can assure you, you cannot take care of anybody else. Okay? How many of you have, have, how many of you have noticed this? Huge shift. Lisa, I didn't experience any breakouts when I first started using Barrage. I, my skin... Um, was perfect from the day I started using it. Um, it was such a nice change. And don't get me wrong, when it's my time of the month and my hormones are surging, um, I will definitely get a pimple or two or um, my skin will be at, be a little bit off. But um, Virage is amazing for my skin. Alrighty, we'll stay on for a couple more minutes, see if anybody has any questions. You're so welcome, Lisa. Alrighty, guys, I'm going to hop off. Um, you can join us tomorrow for our second day. Let me just check to see what our day, what we're doing tomorrow. We are chatting about, so tomorrow we're going to be chatting about boosting your immunity. Um, this is a topic that is very near and dear to my heart because it's something that, um, I suffered with really bad immune, a very bad immune system for a very long time. And um, this is a huge one for me. So I'm super stoked. I'll be popping on tomorrow to chat live uh, about boosting your immune system. And uh, any other questions you have or comments you have or things you want to share with the group, please, please, please comment below. And everybody loves reading what you guys have to say. So have a fantastic Monday, guys. And I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.